Moldova, a country at the crossroads of Europe and Russia's sphere of influence, has taken a bold step in its fight against external threats by signing a security and defence pact with Britain and Romania. This move comes as the conflict in neighbouring Ukraine reaches its 1,000th day. President Maya Sandu, recently re-elected as Moldova's pro-European leader, has been a vocal critic of Moscow, describing Russian aggression and corruption as the greatest threats to her nation. The Moldovan people chose a future in the European Union. I am proud of every single Moldovan who stood up for democracy. Our people have shown incredible resilience in the face of immense challenges, foreign interference, uh, both buying schemes implemented by fugitive oligarchs with Russian money and attempts to destabilize the country. Despite all this, the Moldovan people chose democracy, freedom and a European future. British Foreign Secretary David Lammy, during his visit to Chisinau, echoed Sandu's sentiments. With Ukraine next door, Moldovans are constantly reminded of Russia's oppression, imperialism and aggression. Since the beginning of the conflict, Moldova has welcomed tens of thousands of Ukrainian refugees, including 50,000 children. While the influx has strained the country's resources, international support has been vital in helping Moldova manage the crisis. The newly signed security agreement with Britain and Romania aims to strengthen Moldova's resilience against external threats, particularly from Moscow. The deal includes a $2.52 million investment in enhancing Moldova's cybersecurity infrastructure and a $6.3 million grant to improve healthcare services for refugees. The agreement also establishes mechanisms for the return of Moldovan nationals residing illegally in Britain, underscoring the comprehensive scope of the partnership. The three-sided meeting emphasized the historical ties between Romania and Moldova, which share a common language and deep cultural connections. Moldova, having been part of the Russian Empire, Greater Romania and the Soviet Union at different points in its history, declared independence in 1991. Since then, Moldova has struggled to balance its pro-European aspirations with lingering Russian influence. Domestically, Moldova is undergoing significant constitutional changes to align the country with European Union norms. Prime Minister Dorin Rakian recently unveiled a revised constitution that formally identifies EU integration as a strategic national goal. This move follows a narrow referendum victory last month where Moldovan voters supported constitutional amendments to cement ties with Europe. Standing at the forefront of the East-West divide, Moldova's leaders remain steadfast in their commitment to protecting the nation's sovereignty and advancing toward European unity.